Today's event is um, it's, it's uh, called the James um, Carling um, Payment Art Competition, and it's um, it's in uh, it's in honour of um, a Liverpool artist known as James William Carling, who was born in 1857. Um, he started uh, pa pa paving on the streets when he was seven years of age, um, and um, he was. Um, uh, as he grew up, he became known as the, the Little Chalker. He was born into abject poverty, so he had to go out onto the street just to feed himself and keep himself out of the, the workhouse. It, he ended up um, being thrown in prison because it was against the law to, to go out on the streets and, and beg. And um, the one place he couldn't, he couldn't actually do his pavement art was here in Bell Street. And so in this European Capital Culture year, we thought it's a good idea to actually hold um, a festival of payment art in Bow Street. I used to do this years ago when we first used to do it in a um, film, we used to have a go and, and we used to get paid to do every once a year and then there was a competition with it, you know what I mean? Now I, this is not my genre, I'm not a chalker, I don't do chalk, but I love being outside and I like being involved with the public and doing so. It's good because just the comments that you get coming past you is, is excellent stuff, you know what I mean? So that's it really, I'm just here for, uh, for fun. Mm -hmm. What we do, what we're trying to do, is set a precedent in, in, uh, and inspire maybe an even bigger festival next year. You know, uh, we've got a lot of artists here who have never ever done this kind of work before, and yet they've turned out because they've either been inspired by the, the idea of it or they've, they've actually wanted to do it in the past. Um, it's very difficult to go out and, and do it on your own as, as an individual artist. So it's a very brave thing to do. Well, actually, I think the loan are interesting, and I think it's like the lamb banana thing. You know, you say to someone, here's a blank form, they show us what you can do. So if you get like 20 artists down, we'll get 20 different interpretations. So, well, I'll have to be looking for kind of, I think, interpretation really. That's what, that's what drives me in terms of creativity. It's, uh, I always say, it's not really the form, it's what you do with it, you know, it's important. So. Never judged uh, a pavement art in my life before. You get to judge photographic competitions and things like that. But I've never done pavement art, so it's fascinating uh, learning about the process. A lot of these people have never uh, done uh, pavement art before. A lot of them have never done chalk art. Some of them are like, a majority of the ones are like on canvas, they're, they're painters. So it's a brave new world for them, so uh, it's very interesting. And I believe they go through, some ladies been through three sets of gloves to God knows how many millions of chalks, uh, just to, because he's, you know, it's, it's, that's what you do for pavement art. When was the last time you saw uh, pavement art in Liverpool? I haven't seen it for a long, talking about culture, for a long, long time. It's the first time I've ever seen it. I used to see it all the time. This is the first time for a long time. So uh, I think it's a very important bit for culture. Uh, I, yeah, I hope so. I mean, that's, I think that's the point of doing it, you know, is to, and just to show that, you know, why not? You know, and what's the problem with it, you know? And because it's, it's interesting watching them do it. It's interesting with the actual pieces. But they're only here till it rains, and then it sort of takes it away, and then you start again. And, you know, we can do it here today, but you could also do it in Lord Street, you could do it in Church Street. You can do it in Chibru, you can do it in Dovecott. You know, it's a very simple thing to set up. You know, it's not very logistically difficult. So we just need the cultural will to say, why not? Let's do Yeah. Mm -hmm.